Hello, it's Gareth here again at Cosmic Toys. Your one and your only Cosmic Toy Man. I'm back in the studio, as I like to call it, this week because I could be bothered, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> uh, I've no toy fairs this week, so I was able to bring everything up here and get it done. I didn't have to do it while I was, I didn't have to film this while I was actually open. Although there is a segment which you'll see towards the end of this video that I did film while I was open and please excuse the background noise. Apologies in advance for that. Right, so the first thing I had brought in this week were four living dead dolls. I know some people find these a little bit creepy. I like some of them, I dislike others. I'll let you make your mind up about these ones. Uh, this one is one of the seven deadly sins. I'm going to take the lid off just so that you don't get the, the light reflection on there. And this one is, oh, which one is it? Is it Envy? Yes, this one is Envy. And the box is already open, so I don't mind taking the lid off. In fact, I'll take it out and let you have a look at it. Envy, which is there in a little um, skimpy cheetah or leopard print leotard, shall we say? She comes complete with her death certificate. Because that's not weird, is it? Uh, she's a wonderful sickly shade of green. She's got black hair. You know what it is I like about these though? It's the eyes. She's pure white, soulless. It works on these. It doesn't work on Funko Girl Pop. It works on these. So yeah, we've got Envy. Up there now. Uh, next we've got oh I've forgotten his name. What is it? Wolfgang. Thank goodness for the certificate. The death certificate. We got Wolfgang, there he is. The boxes are not great on these unfortunately, they've had a lot of wear. Comes in a red and black knitted jumper. He's got some green coloured corduroy pants and a pair of black boots. A relatively short haircut as well. Does not say anything interesting about him? Here by 35 on the 26th day of December. Oh, box in there. Wolfgang. Being pronounced legally deceased, this little troublemaker made a deal. Signing in blood was the seal. Upon delivery, hell's bells rang. Possessed by a demon is Wolfgang. Cool. So there he is. And there he goes. See, different eyes. Different eyes. Oh, this one. I've forgotten the name. I did check up the name right before filming this so that I could tell you what it is. It's missing the card at the front and it doesn't come with a death certificate, so I can't tell you her name. How cool is that? I know you're probably thinking, you're weird, Gareth. How can you possibly like something like this? But yeah, I am weird. <laughs> but yeah, long white hair on this one. Um, a raggedy, oh it's Revenance, that's the name of this one, Revenance, um, sort of like old beaten up raggedy dress and you can probably see the cracks in the skin coming out of the eyes and the mouth and the neck. But what's really cool about this one, she glows in the dark. I don't know if I can show you. Let's see, let's see. Don't know if she'll be charged up enough actually to show you her glowing, but we'll give it a try. It might not be dark enough in this room when I turn these lights out, but let's see. No, it's, it's not dark enough in here, is it? Not dark enough. If you, does that kind of do anything? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're all back on. I feel so cool with my remote control lights. So, yep, there she is. I'll put her there. And this one, this last one, this one's got no eyes. It's from a video game. It's one of the Living Dead Dolls Presents. Oh, it's 
a bubble nurse from Silent Hill 2. So, the box has been opened on this one again, so I can at least let you have a look at it. Let you have a look at it without the reflection of the studio lights. <laughs> and there she is in her bloodstained nurse's outfit. Whatever this thing is on her mouth. Anyone who's played Silent Hill will probably have a better idea than me. I know. I know that. <laughs> what I laughed at then when I got it out of the box. The high heels. I love those high heels. <laughs> Again, covered in blood. She's got a bit of blood spattering up her leg and all over her skin. Ugh, it's gruesome, isn't it? Look at them though. That's how you're hilarious. Nice. Collectible toy designers out there that are getting paid a fortune to design things that put a smile on our faces. And that does not disappoint. Right, okay, so moving on from there, the next purchase I had this week were some Hot Wheels cars. And yeah, I've got them laid out in front of me. And apologies for the amount of time this is going to take. I'll try and get through it as quick as I can. We've got an Aston Martin Va Little. We've got an Aston Martin Vantage GTE there. We have from a Gas Monkey Garage a 68 Corvette. We have an 88 Honda CRX, a 1986 Toyota van. We have a Volkswagen Badger Bug. Badger Bug. It's a VW with big wheels. A Beetle with big wheels. 23 Nissan. Is that up to date? Is this one into Nissan Z? You Yankee Doodle Dandy people. It's a Nissan Z. We have a Muscle Mania 1, GM12, oh there we go, ah, early releases, it's down the side of the packaging instead of the bottom, so a 67 Pontiac Firebird 400, in bright yellow, on a long card here we've got a 69 Dodge Coronet Super B, a 73 Honda Civic Custom in lime green and a black hood or bonnet 68 Mazda Cosmo Sport in orange and white got another Muscle Mania one 67 Chevelle SS396 62 Chevy Audi RS e-tron GT in grey, a BMW 507 in white, oops, it had a crash, we've got a Subaru WRX STI, I don't think I'll ever be showing off STIs on this channel. A Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. You know, I hope I'm pronouncing these things right. I haven't got a clue, really. A 70 Plymouth AAR Cuda. Bright pink there. Magenta. 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. Bright yellow with some black striping. A Nissan Patrol Custom. Okay. And a Nissan Maxima Maxima? Maxima Drift Car. Now I haven't checked any of them, I'm assuming they're all fairly standard ones. What was slightly better was this. I can even feel the difference in the weight to any of those. This was a, quite a solid die cast one. As you can see, it's a VW 
a camper van. In fact, it does stay underneath. It's a Volkswagen T1 panel bus. Uh, made in Thailand, 2011. I'm assuming it, that's the mould. Uh, Mattel. Uh, it's got the rubber tyres, the real rider tyres. And yeah, it's uh, even the bottom of it is die cast, which a lot of them aren't these days. So I forget, one of the premium ones is that. Um, same guy also brought me this quite attractive box set. This is a Hot Wheels Premium, again, just like that uh, VW there. Uh, it's a Nissan box set, and in there you get a Fleet Street wagon or truck, as well as Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR LBWK, a Nissan Skyline C210, and a Nissan Skyline HD 200, 2000 GTX. That letter at the end makes a massive difference because even the models look completely different. I'm not up on cars, you can probably tell that, can't you? There we are. I believe these go, sell for about 25 quid. Um, and the same guy also brought me another one which is really, really cool. Uh, th this. I'm guessing this is an aftermarket price because when I had a look, this sells for about 50 quid. Yeah. Another Hot Wheels Premium, uh, Hot Wheels Car Culture Team Transport, and it's an RWB Porsche 930 Aerolift. And it's in bright purple with gold wheels. That actually tells me on the back, so I could have read it from there, couldn't I? Sorry. But yeah, it's quite a cool piece, isn't it? Don't ask me why these sell for 50 quid. Just accept that they do. Or don't accept it. Go and have a look and then come back and buy it from me. Uh, another... Th th this wasn't traded in, it wasn't sold in. This was received through the post. Corgi Toys. Now, I did set up the subscription. I got the first one. Um, where you get to choose... I think there's a few that you can choose from to get, and I, p I picked one. Now, I'd already bought from a friend. Hey, Mark! Um, this one, and a couple of others. And I wasn't expecting to get, ex get this one in my subscription, because I believed that this had already gone as part of the subscription. So I thought the Corgi month thing would be a... Everybody receives the same model every month and if this one's already been and gone then I've missed it and I'll get whatever the next model is but it turns out no when you subscribe this is the first one that everybody gets in their first subscription month so quite disappointed really I've already got this so this will have a look this will um, this can go up for sale now as you can see, it comes in a reproduction of the original box. And you get a rather lovely Monte Carlo winner from the 1967 Monte Carlo winner. Um, Mini Cooper S. It's quite a nice little model, is that? I was going to say a nice little dinky model. It's not dinky, it's corgi. I meant dinky as in the size. Yeah, lovely little thing. But I only need one. And it does indeed come with a kind of certificate type thing. It tells you a little bit about it. Another die cast item. This one I picked up in the charity shop. I've had two charity shop finds this week. Uh, well, technically this was last week. It was Sunday last week. I had to show you today, didn't I? Uh, this is from the Queen's Silver Jubilee, and it's a matchbox, double decker bus, in its box, which is quite nice to find. Silver bus, silver because it's Silver Jubilee. And the bus itself is in really, really good condition. That's really nice, is that? The only thing I can find is a very slight bit of wear to the paint there. Probably not showing on camera. 
And that's literally from rubbing inside the box. Really, really nice is that. I think so anyway. And the box does have some wear though. It's faded slightly. There's a bit of staining on it as well. But it, overall, it's, it's there. It's in nice condition. And when I do eventually get this, such a pipe dream is this. When I eventually get the museum set up, it's one of the things that can just sit in the museum. I look forward to that day because these videos will then be filmed in the museum. And I think they'll look so much better. Anyway, next charity shop find, which was Tuesday, I think. I had this when I was a kid. It's the weird piggy bank made Matt West. The baby piggy. He's got his stopper so that he doesn't have um, currency diarrhea when you put the money in. And he's in impeccable condition, but he didn't come on his own. Now, I only had this one when I was a kid. I didn't have his sister. Which is here, again, in excellent condition and complete with her stopper as well. And I certainly didn't have the brother. Which is also in excellent condition. No damages, no chips and comes complete with his stopper as well. And I also didn't have the mother which is also in excellent condition and comes with no chips or damages and with the stopper now what she does have and it isn't damage but when they've been painting it is like an extra little bit of blob of paint there it's underneath the glaze so it was sent out from the factory like that it is what it is um, so there's there's not quite a full set there there would have also been the father in his black suit and white shirt and red tie, if memory serves. And then one that we didn't get in the UK, I think it was exclusive to Canada, uh, was Cousin Wesley, who came in like a, um, a, a, a green school uniform, a bit like a Cub Scouts type uniform thing, a satchel. And yeah that, 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 that one goes for really silly money over here um again these could end up in the museum if not i'm happy to sell them probably sell them 50 quid ish i think 50 quid's about right for these for these four but as it's a, a charity shop fine that 18 quid that's what they were asking 18 quid i thought that was a Un unusual because this particular charity shop they normally do their research they actually have a room upstairs with two volunteers listing things on ebay so i was i was quite surprised to see these actually on the shelf for sale at a reasonable price yeah there we go i'm gonna hit a brick wall in a minute i've forgotten the names of two figures that i've got to show you Okay, moving on. Uh, chat brought me, there's only five action figures here, but he, he brought them in and, and swapped them for something in the shop. We've got a Hulk. It's a modern one. It's one of those retro ones that would have come on a retro card back. Um, yeah, we've got Hulk. Pop in there. Another modern one in the retro style. We've got one of the Megazord type things or Zords from... A Power Rangers series. Uh, the, these haven't been out too long, and they came in the they, they come come in boxes that are designed to look reminiscent of the VHS tapes at the time. Um, yeah, there we go. Believe it or not, they're about twenty quid, and that's it. Now, I believe this is a vintage one. No, it's not. 
I thought it was vintage, but it isn't with all that white writing on it. Proxy Toys, Doctor. What? Uh, www.proxy.toys. I've never heard of them. Have you heard of them? But we've got a foot soldier from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, if it's got a website printed on it, it certainly isn't original, is it? I don't think there were many websites around in 1988. Yeah, and these last two are from Sonic the Hedgehog. And someone did come in this week and tell me the name of them, because he's a big, big Sonic fan. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot the name. We've got an alligator. He's all blinged up. He thinks he's Snoop Dogg or something like that. He's even got headphones on. He's got headphones on. What a design. And a really fat purple rabbit. And there's one other thing. You might remember this because I've shown you this before. <laughs> And then I sold it, and then it's come back. Thank you very much, Arif. <laughs> it's a Nintendo Game Boy Advance, forgive the DS case. Protects it, doesn't it? And it's one of those custom ones with the upgraded LED screen and custom casing. Let's stick it here. He also brought me three games with it. He brought me Super Mario Brothers 3. Sonic Advance. And The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap, which yes, that is a very, very rare game. It's also a fake, is this one? But yeah, look at that screen, how bright those colours and everything are. To play the original without an upgraded screen, you had to catch it in the right light and then sit there at a breakneck and a weird angle for ages. that games there and then I thought since there's not a huge amount here to show you I thought I'd dive into a box of that Doctor Who stuff which I've been putting off for an awful long time and uh, so I've just grabbed one of the, one of the tubs and there's three figures on top of it that are in the inner packaging but no backing card or blister how weird is that so we've got Mickey the Idiot, Mickey Smith. We've got a nude. And we've got a Jadoon. Weird that they're in packaging like, just like that. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. We have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And it's a proper San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because these didn't hit shops afterwards. Limited to only 3,000. This was back in 2008. And this is number 393. Ninth Doctor. But unfortunately, the blister is yellowed badly. Such a shame is that. It's happening more and more with uh, collectibles now. And it's, it's, not a, it's not a smoking thing. It's not a nicotine thing. This is, this is UV. And it just depends on what... Um, components they use to make the plastic out of. That's such a shame, that's such a shame. Oh, we've got some Dalek box sets. This is one of the Toys R Us exclusive ones. That tells you how long ago this is. Toys R Us have been gone a while. Uh, the second Doctor with Dalek from Evil of the Dalek. And it's an Emperor's Guard Dalek with the Black Dome. The box is in extremely good condition. You're seeing these at the same time I'm seeing these. I'd seen those three on the top of the box, but I haven't seen what was in the box. 
Uh, the Witcher's familiar, so we've got the Twelfth Doctor there with Davros. This is a good one, another Toys R Us exclusive. The Eighth Doctor with Dalek Alpha, and that's from the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, Children of the Revolution. And I remember reading that, it's quite a good read. In fact, if you have a look online, I don't know if it's still there anywhere, but there was um, a home-based company called Altered Vistas, and they did animations of comic strips, and that's one that they did. I don't know if that's still out there anywhere. I've got it on disc. <laughs> oh, we've got a TARDIS! We've got the Fifth Doctor and TARDIS from The Visitation. So this one's got, he's got his hat on. The Doctor's got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. The Doctor's got his hat on. With his TARDIS today. Oh, that's a good one. What's the next one? Fourth Doctor having regenerated. So he's still in the third Doctor's clothes. With TARDIS. As seen at the end of Planet of the Spiders and the beginning of Robot. Yeah, so this is the good one I just mentioned. The Third Doctor and TARDIS. Now this one's quite a hard one to find now. It's also, I believe, the only way you can get the Third Doctor in a red jacket. Nice one that. Very nice one. Now these aren't so easy to find, not sealed, and it looks like the figures have never been taken out of the box though, but like I say it's not sealed. We have the 13 Doctors collector set. And that does not include the 13th Doctor, obviously. It's the first 12 Doctors plus the War Doctor. There you are. Now there's some exclusives in this set. You've got the... Oh no, you've got... What did I just say about the third Doctor with the red jacket? He's also in this. <laughs> so yeah, you get the third Doctor with the red jacket, which as far as I'm aware was exclusive to this until this came out. Yes, that's right, that's right. And then also you've got the Sixth Doctor in the blue coat, which is different to the one that was released on its own. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other exclusives then. Possibly the Twelfth Doctor in that particular outfit, I'm not sure. First Doctor looks different to whatever I've seen before as well though. And then there's one more item in this box. And it's sealed. This one could well be going home with me because I don't have this. And I always kind of regret not picking it up. Can you tell what it is yet? Oh, sure, that's really dated, the Zant. I shouldn't have said that. Can you? It's the Lego set. The Doctor Who TARDIS. Interior and exterior, like I said, comes with 11th Doctor, 12th Doctor, right. Clara Oswald, Weeping Angel, and two Daleks. And yeah, the reason I never got this is because I personally don't do modern Doctor Who, I do classic. And there's nothing classic about this. But then I also collect Lego. And it seems silly that I collect Lego like Doctor Who and don't have the only Lego Doctor Who set. But I have now. Now, 
that's everything I've got to show you with me. But today I did buy in another big job lot, not a huge job lot, but big enough, of Star Wars vehicles, modern ones. Now there was no way that I was bringing them all up here and you'll see why in a moment and laying them out because they wouldn't even fit on this table anyway. So I thought I'll film it downstairs and cut it in. So over to me a couple of hours ago downstairs. And so this very heavily Clone Wars focused Star Wars collection has just come in. Now it's mostly vehicles, but there are a few figures. As you can see, there's the ATTE. It's got all its missiles. It's got the two at the back as well as those four you can see there. It's got the great big long cannon with its missile. It's even got two clone troopers, which I don't recall it originally coming with. But this one. And one stood up in there. Pilot in it. Uh, it's in really, really good condition. I ain't gonna press the buttons and show the missiles firing off because I ain't gonna spend an hour looking for them either. <laughs> uh, there beside it, we've got the battle pack that came with two ATRTs, two ATRT drivers, and the clone commander. Now he's got the wrong gun there. He should have a really big, massive cannon that fires a big red laser, but that's um, that was missing, unfortunately. We've got this one, which I, if I remember right, is the um, V19 Torrent, I believe. Uh, obviously, wings fold down, that one folds around, and it's a pretty cool thing to play with. And just about make out there, we've got the Omega Squad, I think that is. Um, black versions of the Clone Commandos. Um, unfortunately, we're missing two guns and one backpack. Otherwise, they're all complete, which is quite cool. Back here we've got the big Tiger Shark version of the Republic gunship. It's got the two missiles in there. It's got the four missile bombs rather on each wing underneath. It does have the landing plate in there. Pick it up so I can show you the back of it. Because it also has the gut and the rocket thing on the back, the zip lines. Both doors, canopy, it is missing one of the red missiles at the front, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be 100% complete, so it is a big shame that that's missing. Oh well, I might have one somewhere, I'll have to have a dig, won't I? We've got this big spider droid, is this the homing spider droid? I think. That's got the three missiles as well, complete. Cad Bane here, on his speeder bike. Now, I can't remember, maybe you can let me know in the comments. Or in the live chat. Did this version come with the coat? Or was that just the version that he could buy on its own? Because he's got both his blister, blaster pistols and he's got his rifle stuck on the back there. So if he didn't come with a coat, I think it's complete. We've got Delta Squad. The four Republic Commandos. They're all complete as well. Brilliant. Sev, Boss, Scorch and Fixer. And then I believe these came in a battle pack and I think they came with a heavy gunner. But we've got three blue arc troopers and a red one. Also got a Plo Koon there, complete with his lightsaber. We've got a droid starfighter. Now that appears to be missing one of the missiles, otherwise it's complete. We've also got Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi starfighter. That's missing the missiles by the look of it, unfortunately, but um, the droids there, which they're often missing. And we've got Kit Fisto's Jedi Starfighter. I love some of the colours that these expanded universe ones came in. Absolutely brilliant. Um, moving over here. The Clone Wars stuff isn't finished yet. We've got the Hailfire droid. Missing four of those missiles, unfortunately, but you, f you show me one of these that's complete. They don't pop up very often. And I've got two of these Elite Ops Arc Troopers. 
uh, unfortunately one of them has lost her hand now I might have a spare clone hand and I'd have to paint it black though <laughs> we've got a Republic tank again something else that doesn't pop up very often and is complete just behind them oh you remember that scene don't you from Revenge of the Sith when the Emperor and Yoda are throwing a, a Senate disc thing at each other uh, that one comes with Yoda and two shock troopers I believe the box set did include a, a, a Palpatine as well but he's not included unfortunately he's not there we've got a couple of Hoth figures there we've got Luke and we've got Han and we've also got a Chewie I'm not quite sure which versions these are which releases they are Han's got quite a wide leg stance so I don't know if he was supposed to come on a Tauntaun but if he did wouldn't he have bendy knees I'm not sure I'll have to check that one out uh, and we've got the big well not the big because there is a bigger version isn't there we've got the Endor Atat walker there it's got both the chin guns there we go it's got the guns on the side and the covers for them pilot in there or driver should I say and got the door and in there we've got working electrics <laughs> great stuff and that's not everything that's not everything at all no We've also got a big wing TIE Fighter. There we are, you see. Massive thing is that, isn't it? Massive. I never thought to check to see if it comes with a figure. It does, you know. There's a TIE Fighter pilot in there. And then we've got another TIE as well, just down here. This one, as far as I'm aware, is quite a, quite a hard one to find. See the red stripes on the side? That makes it um, one of the Elite Forces ones. It's, if I remember rightly, this is Baron Fells. Was it Baron Suntia Fell? Baron Fells, anyway. Um, Tie Interceptor. He was an Elite Pilot for the Empire. And there he is himself. I think he's got a removable helmet. See, it's a, a unique figure, is that one? With the red stripes on it and the white vest. Does the helmet come off? No, it doesn't come off, unfortunately. It stays on, does that one. So yeah, he's actually a character, he's not just a pilot. And then one more to go with that Tiger Shark gunship. We've got a Tiger Shark Arc 170 fighter. Complete with two pilots and the droid. Got the gun on the back. It's got the big guns there that clip on. Now it doesn't have the missiles that it's supposed to fire out of them, unfortunately. But still, great little, well not little is it, great big, big vehicle there. And that's it. Now, there you go. Back to me. Yeah, so that's quite a lot of Star Wars stuff, isn't it? A lot of vehicles is that. Some cool figures there as well. Some of those figures, quite a good good prices now great stuff uh, I wish I could say I got an absolute bargain on them I didn't but I'm not exactly as much as I've got lots of stock at the moment I could have done with some more Star Wars vehicles so it was worth taking them in right well that's it that's your lot thank you very much for watching and I'll get you again next week all being well Remember to give us that all important thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. Because I am, I am chasing subscribers. Don't ask me how. I lost two this week. I must have really peed someone off. Anyway, I need another 700-ish. Come on. Smash that subscribe button. You stay put. There we go. Right, thanks for watching. See you all again next week for another episode of What Did I Buy? And take care. Bye.